Hey, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. In today's gaming news, get a taste of Legacy of the Void right now. While let you betray your faction, and three classic Warhammer games hit GOG. What's up everybody, welcome back. Force here once again with your day's gaming news. Now first up today, we've got pre-orders available for StarCraft II's Legacy of the Void expansion. Yes, you can pre-order the game right now for $39.99. Now Legacy of the Void will be adding new units, maps, and story, as well as the cooperative Archon gameplay mode that lets you and a friend control a single army. If you buy the Digital Deluxe Edition, you're also gonna get unique portraits, pets, trans Transmogs, card backs, and the Void Seeker mount. Now, I think the biggest thing of all, and the reason I really want to tell you guys about this is not because you can buy the game early, but because if you do happen to pre-purchase it, you'll get access to three unique story missions as a prologue to the Protoss single player story. So basically, you get to try out and test out some of that single player experience. You know, pre-purchasing not only gives you that access to the prologue, but also gives you access to that multiplayer beta. So if you're into that thing, then you can uh, go ahead and check that out. Next up, I wanted to tell you guys about an interesting thing that WoW is going to be doing to try to deal with queue times for PvP. In the upcoming patch 6.2.1, they will be introducing Mercenary Mode, which lets players queue and appear as a member of the opposite faction. So basically, if your faction happens to be vastly outnumbered in your realm, you'll have access to the special NPC that will let you queue up and play as a member of the opposite faction. I, I do think it's only just a visual change. I wouldn't imagine they'd change like your racials and things like that uh, but it's pretty interesting because again they're using this to sort of combat uh, faction imbalances but on the same token they kind of take away further from faction rivalry. A big thing for me in Vanilla WoW was there was this faction rivalry against the, the opposition that sort of went away over time as things came together a bit more in the game, I don't know, became just a bit more mass market, I guess you'd say. Things have definitely changed over time. So yeah, they're gonna get rid of the faction rivalry, but I guess, like who, who really cares? The biggest thing that people are probably concerned with is having to sit in queue to do PvP. So this mercenary mode helps to alleviate that problem, and as such, overall, I think is a good thing. Now from WoW to what inspired WoW, Warhammer, well, three of their classic titles just came to GOG. Shadow of the Horned Rats, Final Liberation Warhammer 40k Epic, and Warhammer 40k Chaos Gates have all appeared on GOG.com. Now the first two titles are available for, I think, five or six dollars a last one available for 10. These are old school, super old school, classic Warhammer titles. And again, they're now available on GOG.com if you want to buy, I guess, current versions, if you lost your old CDs or floppy disks or whatever, and you want to check these, this stuff out again, available on GOG.com. Now, lastly, I just wanted to remind you that we are seeing the official launch of Skyforge today, the action RPG MMO title uh, just coming into open beta right now. So if you wanted to give it a shot, you can go ahead and hop in. Hopefully they resolve some of the issues that they had with uh, EU players and certain ISPs. I'm actually not certain. I haven't gotten much of an update on that, but you know, it's open beta. So at the very least you can download it, check it out, see if you like it. There are lots of things that I did enjoy about Skyforge and there is still a chance that I'm going to go back, check it out once again, now that it's getting closer to launch, just to give you guys a bit of an update, some more gameplay stuff like that. But with that, guys, we're going to wrap up today's episode of The Feed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force-fed. You know, I think it's worth remembering that Warcraft, the world of Warcraft, all the stuff Blizzard did was basically a ripoff of the Warhammer universe. So if you're a fan at all of anything Warcraft, check out where they got all their ideas.